All right, boys. Let's go. Testing number one. We're gonna be testing up acids. I have a little list right here. Boom. Uh, team voice chat enabled. Okay. Uh, the thing that we're testing with Abbasid. I don't know why it didn't just start in Castle, by the way. Um, we're gonna be testing the new unit Gulam, which is, I guess, redone men at arm. We're gonna test Camel Archer Micro and Abbasid Military Ship. That's like the things that I'm interested the most. So that's what we are going to go with. Also, I'm gonna need a dock because I wanna see that upgrade. We're gonna take like a minute to upgrade, but it's. Uh, I am 99% sure guys that these graphics are the graphics I have on actual game and this looks a lot smoother like uh, some people said that this is like different graphics than mine this is all medium and low and I'm pretty sure this is exactly what I run on um, on the live version of the game and the game does look a lot, a lot smoother because they did mention they have improved a lot of graphic settings so Maybe I'm coping, but to me, it, it looks nicer. All right, so this is the... Let me build two more of these. So this is the new uh, military ship upgrade. Okay, we got that upgrade. Okay, here it is. Gulam. 120 food, 30 gold. They have an icon right there. They look like they got a shield or something. Yes, we're going to see in a second what's going on there. I also feel like I have more FPS. Okay, so we got these little shields. Where's their dual wielding? Oh, I, I was I thought they are running with like dual wielding. By the way. I thought they're running with two swords. They're not running with two swords. They're attacking twice with with the same sword. So they got four armor, four armor. Wait, you can? Oh yeah, you can see the microphone here, by the way. So there's voice chat in the game. Another thing that um, I mentioned earlier, but I didn't mention in the video, uh, sacred sites are changed so that. There's no more like of that annoying text above. There's just like this one thing so you can see units under sacred sites um, a lot easier. Make more of them. All right, so those have 330 health now. So they went from 330. Bagla has 45 extra health, which does make it think another um, sprinkled ship attack. But Doe does not, right? Yeah, Doe still dies. Even if it has 330, it will still die because um, Springle Ships deal plus 45. Or does it actually wait? 5, 40, 80. 80. No, it does survive another, doesn't it? Okay. Um, okay, send one demo ship into Bagla and then put your Springle Ship on the bottom as well. I mean, it survives with a bit of extra HP. So you survive on 100 compared to what? 55? Yeah, 55. And then he needs three shots to kill my ship, and I need two shots. Okay, so it does make a difference in terms of stats. Can you um? Can you bring? Can you make those as well, please? And attack my doe with your uh, sprinkle ship. And you need to upgrade units to castle versions. One. To also, the uh, arrows are hitting more in the middle of the ship. Four. Yeah, so it's going to survive an extra hit. Okay, that's actually big. So the 10% extra HP works out pretty well. Okay, send me the archer ship. Plus 14 health on the demo ship. Don't think that's going to matter. Yeah, it's still going to get hit. Or it's still going to get killed in the same amount of hits. One, two, yeah, it's gonna kill it in four shots, right? Oh, 
Okay, that makes a pretty big difference, actually. So Sprinkle Ships take another shot to kill each other, but it also takes another Sprinkle shit, uh, shit. Sprinkled Attack to kill uh, Archer Ships, which is actually pretty big for Trade Zone and Water. That's interesting. So maybe Abbasid will be good on Water. Abbasid is already not bad on Water, by the way. It's... Uh, after the old, like the best sieves, Abbasid is up there, so it's pretty interesting. Okay, so these boys, uh, let's see, can you bring, let's bring 10 knights, uh, how much do they cost? I'll bring like 5 more, this should be around same cost, same-ish, maybe this is more proper. Okay, let's just, just aim move, don't do any micro, just aim move. <clears throat> They should lose against knights. Yeah, so the initial charge does quite a bit. I mean, they don't trade terrible, but obviously men at arms are not gonna win out on uh, against knights. Can you bring um <coughs> Can you bring one knight over here? With full health? Like on the bottom side where the market is? Just one knight. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to understand how this works. So it attacks. And then it instantly attacks again, right? Just don't... Okay. Yeah, so it basically has an attack speed, but after it does an attack, it quickly resets and attacks again. It's kind of interesting, I guess. But you can see it dealt pretty good damage to the knight, even though it doesn't do bonus damage against armor. Now, this unit is supposed to, in my opinion, counter spearmen and cavalry. So can we have... Um, uh, you need to upgrade your men at arms, and you need to get uh, ranged units and upgrade those. Can you send uh, 10 spearmen? 10 spearmen should be equivalent of like 6 of these. I think like 6 of these. We can put them in line formation, by the way, when we fight, so it's better to uh, see who's winning. Alright, let's go. They should chew through spearmen. Yeah. Yeah, they're gonna absolutely demolish spearmen. It's kind of interesting. You got, like, I gotta figure out when and how you wanna use this unit the best. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna like demolish villagers if you do any. Like men at arm run buys, it's gonna absolutely demolish villagers. And any type of like horsemen. Oh, yeah, you need to make horsemen as well. You don't need siege, by the way. Uh, send um, a veteran men at arms next, then longbows, then um, crossbows, and horsemen as well. Let's see what next you have. Ten men at arm. Man, it should be nine against ten, right? I don't think eight is fair either. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, I need to make. Uh... They should have more DPS than men at arms, right? Like just straight up. Although they do double attack, and that double attack is double reduced by the armor, right? Men at arms do 12 damage, these guys do 10 plus. Is it 15? I don't really know. But yeah, they're gonna barely beat men at arm. And this is, by the or not barely, this is 9 versus 10. So 9 Gulams versus 10 English men at arms without ironclad upgrades. So this is like just a men at arm that's neutral. So HRE men at arms should actually beat them. 
And I'm pretty sure English men at arms would beat them with the upgrade as well. Because plus two armor is actually plus four against them with each attack. So Yeah. Alright, let's do uh let's do longbows, then crossbows, then horsemen. Oh yeah, I wanted to make uh <clears throat> Camel archers, because apparently something was changed, so they're easily microable. So let's see what it is. Uh, you got the Abbasid infantry upgrade. Yeah, but you're the thing is you're always gonna have this because it's you you get it instantly. Like this is so cheap that you're just gonna get it. You're not gonna have ironclad upgrade, especially because you got nerfed. It's more expensive now. Okay, ten longbows. How many units do I use? Like. Four? I guess four. No, I should actually be using more, but... Oh, let's use four. Now let's use five. Pretty sure five still beats. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I think it's I think it's six, but let's... Uh, I think it's six, but let's use five. They should melt through longbows. Yeah. Because they're still armored units, by the way, so they retain their armor. Um, their HP got changed, I think, but they retain their armor. So they have 4-4. Four, four. So, yeah. Crossbows, they should... Well, actually, I'm not sure. Because, basically, uh, them ruins against crossbows will be... Kind of like units countering each other. But crossbows should win with micro. Without micro, crossbows might lose. I'll use... I don't know how many. Eight? Alright, let's go. Send the crossbows. And then we'll do horsemen. So I think that Ghulams uh, will be mixed into your army. But they're kind of going to have a weird spot, I feel like. Because if you want, like, pure DPS, you can add ranged units, right? But they do tank and they do decent damage. Holy fuck. Obviously, by the way, this is not really representative of a real game. Because, uh... They actually destroy them. Holy fuck. Because you would kite with crossbows. But I actually didn't expect that we get clapped that bad. So yeah, their DPS is high. They're gonna do okay against other men-at-arms. They're gonna lose against any men-at-arm that has unique upgrades, such as HRE or English men-at-arms. Or even Delhi men at arms, I think, with the upgrade from House of Learning will beat them. But they will beat other uh, men at arms that don't have anything. They're gonna be great for raiding. Any men at arm from any civ is great for raiding. But um, I'm gonna use eight. But Ghulams are gonna be. The reason why they're gonna be way better for raiding than normal men at arms is because they do way more damage to non armored units. So they're gonna kill villagers way quicker. And I would expect... I would expect men at arms to win this. But, yeah. Even though they don't counter cavalry, cavalry has zero melee armor. So they're getting fucking shredded. It's 8 versus 10, by the way, which is... I think it should be even on, on uh, resource cost. Obviously, they cost gold, but... They do have quite a bit of DPS. I guess the best way to counter them, the best way to counter Ghulams is probably gonna be just crossbows and knights. You do not want to make spearmen against them. So for those that don't know, spearmen can actually be pretty decent against men at arms if you have big numbers. But these guys just out DPS them by so much, you will absolutely get shredded. Can you send me some? Um, yeah, some spearmen and men at arms. You can combine them and just send them over here. So apparently, camel archers are now made easier to micro. I don't know what that means, uh, but let's find out. Okay, <clears throat> just a move on, uh, on on me. That's it. Oh. Oh, shit, you can micro them now. Oh, that's a big buff. Holy shit, that is a big buff. Oh my god. Yeah, 
Yo, that is a big buff. Holy fuck. That's, the funny thing is that's actually bigger than the other changes. So for those that don't know, on, on live version, when Camel Archers shoot, you see that thing that they're doing where they're like charging backwards? You can't do anything. They're kind of like in animation. But now you can do... Look at this. You can insta move and shoot. Look at this. Oh. That's big. Can you send... Um, can you send horsemen? Or knights is fine too, actually. Knights is fine too. That's actually pretty big, by the way. <clears throat> That's pretty big. This makes camel archer. I mean, they got no uh, balance changes, but they're easily easier microbe. Like before, you could never do this. You might as well just run with camel archers. You can't. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna lose the fight because it's like million knights, right? But you could never micro like this. Damn, that's pretty big. What's the best suit to play going forward? That's pretty big. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. All right. Um, wow, that's pretty cool stuff. I think. Um, so I think the way that you're gonna use these guys is you're gonna mix it in your army, but um, Abbasid men at arm might be used a lot more as raiding unit because of the damage that it deals to villagers and um i feel like the only effective counter to them is probably knights and, and crossbows which are not part of every unit comp if that makes sense so if you send like little squads of gulams everywhere the opponent can just send like five spears and deal with them right you actually have to send units that counter it because otherwise they're just gonna kill uh, longbows or archers or horsemen even so that's gonna be interesting I think their biggest strength is gonna be if they get into the enemy base they're gonna be really annoying to deal with uh, because when you get in cavalry in enemy base you can send like five spearmen against six horsemen you're gonna melt them down but against these guys you actually need like I said real damage and real units that counter them uh, yeah, they're like palace guards, but palace guards can like get surrounded and beaten by mass in a way. But these guys are slower, but uh, a lot tankier, and their DPS against unarmored is uh, is also higher. Towers, well, they have four armor base, so if you get this, they have plus six armor, which is uh, quite a bit. Oh, you know what? You know what else I want to try? So if I get damage upgrade. How does this work? Let me see something. Is my second attack the one at the bottom? The 15 damage? So if I hit the, the boar... Let's see how much health it's gonna stay. I'm gonna try to stop it when it hits it like twice. Four armor and it took 12 damage. That means it's hitting for... I'm confused now. Is it, is it hitting for 2 times 10? So what is the 15? Is that the charge attack? Okay, okay. Okay, so it's char the bottom is charge. Okay. So another thing... Um, it's damage upgrades... I think this is the f is this the first unit, first melee unit in the game that scales way better with uh, melee damage upgrades, because now you didn't get one damage, you got two damage, but you also your damage also gets reduced by armor twice, right? So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Overall, it's gonna be it's definitely gonna see use. I don't think this is gonna be like a useless unit that that nobody uses or something like that. So, yeah. All right, let's go into uh, let's go into the next one. Let's test English. The reason why I want to do English is um, Habasid had a, quite a bit of changes, so English doesn't have as many. So, yeah. Dude, every time I hear this, I keep thinking I'm like kicked out of the lobby or something. 
All right, let's go Abbey of the Memes because we want to see the, uh, the king. It has reduced cost, but apparently it also has like a indicator of the aura. So I want to do that. And we're going to test Campfire and Villager Bows. So Villager Bow is now five tile range. Holy fuck. So, okay. Yeah, I, is this only for hunt? Yeah, the, it's the same range that the villagers can shoot the enemies, right? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's basically for both now. How can you test campfire with revealed map? Listen. Uh, uh, listen. <clears throat> That's a perm. <laughs> yeah, you guys are making a lot of good arguments recently. I don't know. Shit's getting weird. All right. Oh yeah, and again, guys, one more change that was added that I forgot to mention is scouts do not uh, get extra vision during age up. So if you guys don't know, right now in the live game, when you age up, the scouts get a little bit of extra range. So that's removed. Scouts do not get extra range, but instead there's an Imperial upgrade that gives them more range. Wait, can you voice chat against your opponent? Yo, that would be funny. If you play one of one and you just shit talk your opponent the whole time, you're like, you fucking noob, I'm gonna kill all your villagers. Wow, you lost two veils, loser. Yo, that would be content. Yo, that would be content, actually. Damn. Dude, that'd be so funny. Imagine you're raiding him. This is a villager, and you snipe a villager like, sucker. Dude, that would be actually such sick fucking content. Okay, so King now costs 120, 120. Um, villager bows. So again, this is what... This is the range they already have against enemy units. They just made it so that it's the same for hunt. That's it. Why is the hunt running, by the way? Is that how it usually works? Where does that change? Yeah, they don't usually run. Okay, here's the king. Okay, so now there's an indicator. Kingly presence. So you can see how far it heals. Amazing. Alright, let's make men at arms. There is no longer campfire for longbows. Instead, there's a campfire for men at arms. So right here. Boom! Look at that! No more. And this upgrade got moved from X to, to Z hotkey. Here we go. Campfire. Set up camp. Place a campfire which increases the side range of nearby units by 30%. A maximum of five campfires can be lit at one time. Placing on a district campfire extinguishes the old one. Okay, this is what I want to test now. So longbow no longer has the thing. Okay, so what I want to see... I'm gonna put him right here, and I'm gonna put these guys right here. Also, we can uh, we can age up as well. So this is the vision range of the scout. Now, if I get these boys over here, this is their range now. That's not a lot. Right? That's like one or two tiles. They got one health, by the way. Can you spend it? Oh, you can? Yo, you can crap campfires. Obviously, they don't stack. Yeah, you can leave it. Let's try that. 
So if I... So let's place them like landmines. Let me see, what's that? Let's go to Imperial because I want to check the... Uh, the scout vision range. Okay, so the range, the vision range is the same as the the circle, right? So potentially you can do something like this. And then you can move your units, and you can have like a little. That's pretty cool, I think. Oh, check if the effects of scouts range. Okay, that's a pretty good idea. That's a pretty good idea. Basically, it increases sight range of nearby unit. It should affect scout, right? Yeah, this is really good, actually. Uh, it has one health, by the way, and the opponent can kill it. So if I place the tower... Okay! Okay! Does a move kill it? Uh, I have no idea. I would imagine if there's nothing around. I would imagine so. Damn. Yeah, this is like Chinese scout. I mean, yeah, it is like Chinese scout. But guys, I want to remind you: this costs twenty-five wood. Now you might think this is like, oh, it's, it's nothing. But spending twenty-five wood on these all the time is a lot of uh, wood to use. Um, Here's Spyglass. Okay, let's bring the scout over here. Increases the sight radius of scouts by 30%. So basically, in Imperial, you get an upgrade. Wait, does Chinese scout got 60% vision then? Wait, what? That can be right. Okay, let's see. So we're gonna leave the scout here. So again, you no longer gain vision as you're aging up. Your scout vision range does increase. You have to upgrade them. Which, I, I just find it as a weird change. That's... Oh my god, you're looking with a campfire now. <laughs> oh my god! Whoa. What the fuck? What the fuck? Look at that! Huh? Bro, what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? Yo, what the I fuck? Look at this, look at this stuff, look at this stuff, look at this stuff. <laughs> Can I destroy this? Yo, what the fuck? That's crazy! Look at the vision! Yo, I don't know about this, Chief. This is a little bit, uh, this is a little bit OP. I know it's like, it's just vision, but this shit gives way too much vision. What the hell? I wonder if devs had a complete oversight on this. Or is, or, or if they know about this and it's fine. Bro, look at this. Ready? Come on, the man. On the Yes, sir. You will gank and fair. Bloom in the reading for. Send this, Sergeant. Wait, better than him. Send this, Sergeant. Send this. 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 Send
Holy shit! Okay, this is a little... I don't know... Okay, I don't know how well you can utilize this in a game. Right? In the middle of the game. But that's kind of crazy amount of vision. Let me... That's kind of crazy amount of vision. Again, I don't know how usable this is in a real game. Like, I don't think you're gonna have... Imperial spy balloon, okay. I don't think you're gonna have like scouts like this everywhere in campfire, right? But if you're playing a siege battle, right? Look at this, you're playing a siege battle like this, and there's a keep, right? And then there's trebs. Like, that's pretty insane. You know what I mean? Like, you see everything. That's what I'm more worried about. Not not the fact that, like, oh, you're going to spread your scouts everywhere and get amazing vision. You're not going to do that in a real game. This, though? Wait, destroy the campfire. Hey. What the fuck? This is what I'm more worried about. Not to mention, not only you don't have to build towers, this one guy covers, like, three towers. And what you can also do, so what you can also do, check this. I'm already, I'm already like, I'm already thinking like how you can use this in the late game, okay? This campfire affect towers. Bro, please, no. There's no way. There's no way, right? Nearby units, yeah, it does or it shouldn't. So you can use your campfire like this, right? So you can keep your scouts safe, or you can do a little, you know, little. Wait, what? The gate just. Wait, what? Did the gate just extinguish my campfire? You see that? Can you place it on the wall? That's actually a good point. Okay, I don't think this is gonna increase range. No. You can't put it on the wall. <laughs> that'd be fucking. That'd be funny. This is kind of crazy, though. God damn. Wait, wait, there's another thing I want to test. Guys, if you're watching on YouTube, in this video, we're only testing Abbasid in English. But, I'm we're, we're gonna do Chinese in another video. But, I need to test something. How does China vision work with scouts? Because they have 30% scout vision. So if they upgrade, does that mean that their vision range is like campfire English? Why do you still have Tang and Imp? Uh, because it was changed like five patches ago that you still keep scouting bonus. Test Chinese scout bonus with English campfire in a team game. Wait, does it work with, with ally units? There's no way. This patch that I'm showing right now is coming out in six weeks. Okay, moment of truth. Does this upgrade work with... Uh, with the uh, Tang Dynasty. What 
I don't know about this, brother. Yeah, th this is like one fit, one sixth of the map revealed by a scout. Yo, we need to stack it with a campfire. Oh god. Yo, what if this works? Do you have it? I guess you have it in Dark Age as well, right? No reason not to. The sounds for it are a bit weird. It's like... Okay, just put campfire on my scout. Yo, if this works... Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, come here. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this is insane. Send this to devs immediately. <laughs> oh, the devs are watching. <laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Holy shit. Yo, look at the vision range of that. Oh my god. <coughs> oh, that's funny. Advancing on dinosaurs removes the bonus? Are you sure? It was said a while back that, um... I can't remember what patch it was, that it keeps the bonus. I'm 99% sure there was a patch that still kept the vision for Chinese scouts. There was a patch that removed it? Is it a Mandela effect? No, but it's not a Mandela Don't give me the Mandela effect. Stay tank just for vision? I mean, it's too late. I mean, still, this is fucking batshit insane amounts of vision to get. I think it was a bug fix with Aja. Oh, oh, okay, okay. The change was that they lost it when they got to feudal. Now you only lose it when you reach a dynasty. Okay, then that's my bad. I misunderstood that. I thought you don't lose it anymore when you reach dynasty, not when you reach feudal. For reference, by the way, let's build a landmark that gives you vision. So this is Imperial Palace. Let's build that. Although I we lost vision, right, from tank, but it used to be, it, it was here, right? That better be more. Well, yeah. I mean, we can see the circle. I haven't moved my scout since, right? That's less, no. Or is it the same, maybe? This is like screen in a bit. No, it's less! Look! This is like a screen. Just a straight up screen, right? Look, at the, this is where the scout sees, right? Or saw. I think. Yeah, this is where the, yeah, this is where the scout saw. Because this is trees. It's, it's a, a bit more. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Great stuff. Again, I don't think this is going to be used in games. You know, I think this is funny. Um, I think this is funny. And I think that this this campfire ability, I think, will be used in the late game. Uh, in, like, Siege Wars. Because it does give a lot more vision. 
But for team games, like, this is not like... People are not going to be building campfires and scouts everywhere and having full map vision. You know what I mean? Like, that's just... It's just not going to happen, right? Uh, not to mention, like, you got to set it up with your ally. Like, they need to put a campfire, you need to bring a scout, you need to be Imperial. But it is funny. So that's a, that's a funny interaction. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, I'm going to continue testing the other changes. So again, we still have to ch test Chinese, Delhi, French, Malians, Mongols, Ottomans, and Rus. And then at the end, we're also going to test the Empire Wars mode, which is a new mode. So we'll see how that one is. I'm actually excited for that, but I want to do that one after we did all the tests. So I know where the units are and, and where it's at. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, check me out on Twitch. I'm probably live right now. If you're watching me on Twitch, let's keep going.